guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, and the Explorer, and for today, we're going to react for another reaction video. Actually, this video that I'm going to react or give reviews is very, very important to all of us because as we all know, that every day of our life, we are always dealing with our phones or mobile phones. We always use this to store pictures, store videos, but also we store our informations here. So let's see how can we protect our personal information and avoid hacks. So these videos will help you to avoid hacks with your phones. Let's watch this. Fifteen clear signs that your phone was hacked. So the title says here that fifteen clear signs that your phone was hacked. So this information will really help us to avoid ha hackers. You know, we cannot uh, avoid these hackers because they have this software that they use. So please watch this till the very end because this video will help us. Or will give us information that we will use in order to avoid these hackers. Let's continue, guys. We often see our smartphones as our secured digital havens. We use them to keep our most personal information, from pictures to credit card details. Some people even save their passwords in notes. That's a bit too much, right? You probably have all your text and email communication, including work stuff, based or synchronized on your phone. If you think it is your private zone, you may be very wrong. So far, there is no such device that can't be hacked. So guys, remember, there's no such device that can't be hacked. So everything can be hacked, guys. In just a manner of the tips of your hands, those hackers are very, very genius they know how to do it so let's gonna be careful guys so let's see more of these videos in order to avoid hackers to reduce the potential risks we figured out three things the ways your phone can be hacked how to recognize them and how to protect your phone from hackers so guys there's three ways in order for you to recognize those hackers how to recognize them, how to protect your phones from hackers, and the ways your phone can be hacked. So it depends to you if you really are not careful with your things, especially in the public, if you just don't put any password, your phone will be easily hacked. Let's continue, guys. Let's start with the first important question and see how your phone can be hacked. The easiest way is by taking possession of your phone for a few minutes and installing spy apps, such as Spy Phone App, SpyZ, or SpyEra. These apps are basically mobile trackers that record the incoming and outgoing phone calls and text messages. They can track GPS location, online activity, and communication going on WhatsApp, Facebook, Viber, and Skype. Their creators say these apps can bring peace of mind to parents and help business people monitor their staff. So guys, let's gonna be careful guys what application we are installing in our phones because we don't know that this application can hack us, hack our information. So not all applications that we install are friendly guys and will give us peace of mind so i'm so happy to react with this video because it's not only for me guys but it's for everybody's knowledge so let's continue more of this video if only it were just that in reality these apps are often used by those who don't care about the safety of others see via an unprotected Wi-Fi network in a cafe or airport. Okay. Yes, I don't know it's that. that easy. We all love finding free Wi-Fi spots at airports and restaurants, especially when we travel. Have you ever used free Wi-Fi? Yes. Click thumbs up if you have. Well, with the means of public Wi-Fi, you share all your traffic with everyone around you. Think of it next time you want to check in somewhere exotic. So guys, as we all know that Wi-Fi is very important nowadays, especially it's in pandemic season or 
in any occasions or where you're going, we are always looking for Wi-Fi. But don't you know, guys, here, it's not 100% safe to go to the public Wi-Fi because of these hackers. So, thank you so much for this information. Oh my God, I didn't know that. So, let's be careful when we search for Wi-Fi everywhere. And let's continue, guys. It is worth waiting till you reach a more reliable network. Hmm. When charging your phone via an unknown USB, even in an airplane or a car, there is a risk that all your data will be revealed and transferred. I don't know that. Different smartphones have different security features, so not all of them share the same amount of information when connected to a PC. But they can give away your device name and type, serial number, its manufacturer, operating and file system information, and electronic chip ID. That's a lot of information that can be used against well, you. I don't know that. SMS phishing. This happens when you receive a message with a link saying that it is, for example, your bank statement, a money transfer, or your photos. So you click it, download the file, and then reveal all your phone's contents to hackers. My goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. It's so scary. I'm scared. I don't know that even you're uh, charging your phone or you're just texting and somebody will text you and give you just give you information without you knowing. So, guys, please, let's be careful, guys, every time we use our phones, okay? Let's continue more, guys. This is very knowledgeable. Help of Signaling System 7, or SS7, used by the majority of telephone stations all over the world, Hackers can read your text messages, listen to your phone calls, and track your cell phone locations. But if you're not a celebrity, there's nothing to worry about. You see, there are many ways hackers can mess with your phone. Now it is time to answer the question we all care about. How to recognize that your phone is hacked. So how our phones are hacked, or how can we recognize that our phone was hacked? So let's continue, guys. I'm so excited to know... This is very, very informative. Number, Number 15. 15. You find new apps on your phone and you did not install them yourself. Okay. Sometimes phone manufacturers and service providers can actually install new apps on your phone as you update it. But it is better to be safe than sorry, so you have to make sure the apps are legit. You can Google search them and see what other users, or better yet, reliable websites, say about the apps. If it was neither the manufacturer nor you who installed the app, it must have been hackers. Number 14. Some apps stop working like they used to. While new apps you never installed are doing just fine on your phone, your old apps are in trouble. Something is interfering with their proper functionality and it is most likely some malware. So guys, I'm going to share you a little bit of my experience about this hacker issue. Um, be careful with those uh, quick apps that we saw it in internet or in our mobiles because sometimes those quick apps are hacked. So let's be careful when, when it's going to they manufacture it and when they expire it because you will know if it's a hacker if this uh, application don't work normally. Let's continue. Your phone. Number 13. Your phone has suddenly started to run out of juice very oh, quickly. That's it. If you noticed your phone's battery lifespan has become way too short, it must be for a reason. This can happen when there is an unknown app running on your phone. Such apps run in background mode without notice, so you don't even have to start them but they still take away your phone's energy. My goodness. Number 12. Your smartphone seems slower than it used to be. We often think slower operation speed is the reason of our phone's old age. In fact, just like shorter battery life, it can be caused by malware running in the background on your phone. Those bad apps... Tra so guys, if you happen to um, experience this kind of thing, like you have this uh, message that flash in your phone that it has a defected virus, don't 
uh, please guys, don't uh, forget this guys. Please avoid this and erase these viruses because this virus we don't know is a hacker, okay? Let's continue guys. Transfer data from your phone so its performance drops a lot. A smartphone is smart, but hackers are sometimes even smarter. I agree, they are smarter. Number 11, your phone gets warm. Mm -hmm. Your phone gets warm even when you don't make a call or work with it. You're probably used to feeling the warm touch of your communication tool, and you might even like it, especially when it gets cold. But warming up for no reason is not a good sign. Again, it means there is an unknown app making your phone work so hard that it warms up. Okay. Number 10, your phone reboots itself, switches off, dials numbers, so or starts applications. You might like to believe self-rebooting or dialing numbers is the result of paranormal activity. Guys, there's no such thing as a rebooting, you know? There's no such thing that your phone reboots itself. So something is wrong with your phone. So thank you so much for this information. And you're about to call Ghostbuster. Hmm. Sorry to tell you this, but if it's not a system breakdown, then it could be tapping. Okay, thank you. Number nine. Unknown phone numbers appear in your recent calls and it costs you. Hackers can proxy through your device to make expensive international phone calls. They can also use your infected device to make calls to companies which charge for them. Of course, they don't Especially guys, if you have those unknown calls or unknown texts, please don't entertain these guys because you don't know these people. It could be a hacker, okay? Let's continue. Don't actually call overseas themselves, they offer this paid service to their customers so they get profits. Number eight, your phone is sending and receiving strange texts. Yeah, I told you. Just like unknown numbers in your recent calls, you can find text messages you did not actually send from your phone. It can also happen to your email if you are using it from your phone. If you don't notice it yourself, your friends or colleagues might tell you about it when they receive weird messages from you. Do not ignore it. Number seven, you cannot switch off your device. Okay, guys, let's stop with this one. Uh, I just want to share also an experience. If somebody will send you a message that you won a lottery or, or mega price, please, guys, don't entertain these guys because it could be an also a hacker. So... Everything, guys, let's be mindful of our things. Let's be mindful of our information. Don't share information because every time you share information with those people that we don't know or we don't trust, it could be a source of hacker. They can hack your information, guys, and it will ruin your life. Let's continue. As you are trying to switch your device off, it starts opening different apps, increasing the lighting, and so on. It is very wrong, and it is most likely not the manufacturer's fault. Number six, there are noises or echoes during calls. Okay. If you hear noises or echo during calls, and you haven't had them in this location before, it means someone else has access to your phone. Maybe somebody is might be tapping your phone. phone. And listening to your conversation. Yeah, if somebody is listening sad. to your conversation. Number five. Hi. Websites appear different than before in your mobile browser. It can be a sign that someone has installed malware on your phone. It can be reading your online communication and tracking your activities. It sits somewhere between your browser and the internet and stops the site. Mostly of these hackers are very famous, especially if you are famous people like celebrities, politicians, or even, even us. We're not safe about this hacking techniques guys so all we need to do is we have to be vigilant and pay attention to all these days because we cannot really avoid these hackers let's continue guys displaying normally number four you noticed an increased use of mobile data if you have a data monitoring app you can sometimes see your mobile data usage growing way too fast it can cost extra charges if you pay for a certain amount of traffic per month. And it is one of the signs your phone is not only used by you. 
You can also try finding detailed app traffic usage in your phone settings. It tells us exactly how much mobile data each of your apps is using. You recently installed that app from a new source and it is eating your data like crazy? That app could be malware. I don't know that. Delete it. So you have to delete those malwares. Number three, pop-ups start appearing on your device out of nowhere. You probably see it a lot on your computer. Yeah, it's normal for pop-ups. Software. You are informed that you just won. Yeah, I told you. For a new Lotteries. All you have to do is click one button, and it's yours. Hmm. Such pop-ups. That's one sign of hackers. Produced by malware. Don't do what they are telling yes. you to do. Guard your phone with your life. Number two. Emails sent from your phone are blocked by spam filters. I don't know that. It can be a sign a third party is reading your emails. How? If they got control over your phone, they could have changed your email configuration to send all your mails via some unauthorized It's server. bad. Hackers probably have direct access to that server. Number one, you can't make calls or they're being dropped. If you experience calls being dropped, the inability to make calls at times when you appear to have good signal strength or strange noises occurring during your phone conversations, something may be amiss. Normally, these problems are indicative of technical issues unrelated to a breach, but that is not always the case. So, if you noticed these symptoms shortly after you took some action that you now regret, you may wish to consider whether you need to take corrective action. What should you do if you see any of these signs on your phone? Try running mobile anti-malware software. Delete all the apps you have not installed and unreliable apps eating too much traffic. If it is possible, you can also reset your phone and go back to You have to reset settings. your phones. If that does not seem enough to you, consult a professional. We all know prevention is better than cure. So here is what you... Guys, prevention is better than cure. So... We have to really guard our personal belongings, especially our phones, because our phone is one of a very useful thing that we always use every day. So we have to avoid this uh, experience so that hackers cannot find any information from us. Let's continue, guys. Do to protect your phone from being hacked. If you receive a message with a link and you cannot see the full URL, never open it. If you charge your phone via an unknown computer, when connected, choose only charging. Okay. Don't use the remember passwords function. OMG, I always do this remember password function because it's easy for me to sign in if I do that. So it's not safe, guys. Thank you so much for this information. Even me, it's been given a very good information to not only me, guys, but all of you i just want to share this information because uh everybody is doing uh or using wi-fi or our mobile phone every day so guys this is only 15 useful tips for you guys to take good care of your mobiles switch off the automatic connection to public wi-fi networks instead mm -hmm. choose the okay i don't know that one more thing about Wi-Fi networks. Avoid networks with suspicious names, such as free internet or Wi-Fi free. Choose those which are protected with a password, especially if you are somewhere like a cafe. Don't make online purchases or fund transfers on public Wi-Fi networks. If you use Android, install the reliable antivirus program. And, of course, add a password to your phone. Password to your phone. We hope you found this video you... Guys, thank you so much for watching. This video reaction is very uh, informative to us. It's very helpful nowadays. And thank you so much. I credit to the, all this honor for doing this uh, video. Credit to all and i'm so blessed to share this information to you guys because i'm not only the user but also all of us are user of this and if you haven't watched this video guys please watch these videos to the link below and subscribe to my channel guys for more useful tips and information 
Thank you guys and have a good day. Love you.